think a lot about what makes people do things. What makes us behave in certain ways, you know? Every night I've been thinking about this, trapped in whatever patterns, cycles of violence and is it possible to break these cycles? Is it possible to break? And I'd be sitting there thinking about this and, and this cat, this gorgeous cat with no tail had come to my door. I'd have the back door open because the garden, she'd be terrified at first. It looks beautiful. It, it really does. So I bought some food for her and, and the first time she just sniffed at it and, and ran away. No sign of her for the rest of the night. And I'm thinking reactions and, and responses and violent, breeding violence. And, and then the next night she's in a little further and I'm looking at her tail. I'm thinking, that, that's been cut off. I, I don't think it had been cut off. I, I think she's a manx. I, I, I think they're born without tails. And the next night she's further in. And I'm beginning to get used to this. I'm beginning to look forward to it. And the next night she's in and, and she's eating and after that it's every night. She's, she's on my lap, she's following me around, she's on the ledge waiting for me when I get in. And I'm thinking patterns of behaviour and, and is it possible to, to break these patterns? And, and she's eating and, and meowing to be let in. Every night. One night, she scratches me. Out of the blue, you know. Cats. Just a vindictive cat scratch. Look. See. She knew she'd done wrong. It took her three nights to get back into my lap. And I'm stroking her, thinking, warm, delicate, you know. I put my hands around her neck and I squeeze and I squeeze till her neck is the thickness of a rope and still I squeeze. And I'm sitting there with this dead cat in my lap. And this is last night. And I thought I'd come in and see you. And here I am. <clears throat> oh. Hi, look, I'm sorry to bother you, but we need to talk. And who are you? I'm your neighbour from across the road. Ah, Paul. Nice to meet you. Paul, you have to start wearing clothes. <laughs> Excuse me? Yeah. I can see you, and when I say see you, I mean really see you. All of you, and, and frankly, I'm, I'm just not into that. So, you're a lesbian? What? No, no, I just, I just don't like watching naked men with my coffee in the morning. So you're a lesbian? No, I just, I just want you to wear some clothes, or for God's sake, buy some curtains. I'll tell you what. I'll wear some clothes, 
if you go out with me. Excuse me? Yeah. I'm not going out with you. Then I'm not going to wear any clothes. You, you can't be serious. But what's the harm? You've already seen me naked. Why not get to know me? Coffee. Lunch. Breakfast. Dinner. The choice is yours. Fine. Lunch. But it is not a date. You never did tell me your name. No, I didn't. Did I? <laughs>